what's going on everybody we are out here now I had something happen to me today I've never had happen before pulling to the boat ramp dude sitting there in the vest he says we're full I was like full was there a tournament or something today he said yeah there's some kind of children's tournament on a uh, this Tuesday up here I've never been turned away from a boat ramp usually there's like parking on the grass or something he just said we're full go somewhere else I was like dang all right so I went and found another parking lot and boat ramp pretty nice one actually just on the end of a road way out here now I'm fishing the area that I fished last time I was here uh, the water's clear conditions are way different so obviously we caught some huge weights in that last tournament I think on day one I had like 19 12 and on day two I had 24 8 and that was on table rock but you don't see weights like that and I wasn't even leading by that much everybody was catching them catching them catching them so I'm going back to that area where most of us were fishing uh, it's clear this time so probably not going to have the same kind of results but maybe that's the best area of the lake we're gonna go try it out and see keep y'all updated spot took two minutes there's a good one probably shouldn't even have caught him I saw he was a good one before I set the hook Close to a three pounder there, probably. I'm gonna weigh him and see. That's a three pounder, three one. I don't know. Yesterday I might have had a better bag than I think, because I think I caught me quite a few like that yesterday. on this little swim jig pretty dang good man gosh caught another one I love throwing this thing this thing is awful Fish like it. I like it. Just a good scenario. Need to catch some bigger ones on it. That's what I caught that five pounder on last night, though. I need to be catching threes. Not even today, really. But by the tournament, I need all threes. Man, that's fun. They're just too small. It's been two minutes. Shorties. It's been two more minutes. Mm. Back in the stuff. I seem to stay in the stuff. Check that out.
me another flathead. I think this are, these are flatheads. That sucker was falling, he went. Thunk. Made me think I had something. All right, so it's not going good today at all. Uh, caught six or seven or eight or so on a swim jig. Had a three pounder, had a two and a quarter spot. And since then, kind of went up into Long Creek and started flipping. Got some stained water, got some debris mats, but we've got way too much debris. Uh, it's, just, it's just too much. It just lines the banks and the fish have too many places to hide. So we're gonna go back down probably back to the Missouri side try to fish a little bit more isolated stuff that's a big deal y'all hear me talk about it a lot isolated 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 Good one. Let's see what he weighs. 214. 214. All right, so we put in right here this morning. Went all the way back into Long Creek. Didn't catch enough fish, so we left. Drove all the way over here. Put in right here. We're back in here. Now we're up to the Kings River now. It's actually stained. All this water right here is like the clearest water I've ever fished on this part of the river. Back up where we are now, it's, now though, it's stained. We're going to catch some. Hopefully they're not over three pounds because I don't want to have to drive that far in the tournament. I will though. Let's see. That's so much fun. I done picked up one of my buddies that lives up here. He actually sent me a few baits and dude, it's awesome up here. I love flipping these bushes, catching all these fish. Man, I love that. Man, that's fun. That big spot's gotta be here. Freaking baits, man. I, I like the sound of it. I don't know, dude. I don't know. 
Hey, if it, if it gives you confidence, buddy, I'll make you that whole damn two cups. You don't think it's the bait? I'll even bring them to you. Hell yeah, I think it's the bait. <laughs> There's something weird going on here. Like we're chatter baiting or Yeah. We'll be going that way though. A lot of parallel. I said not too much clipping. Too much clipping going. What? Air mill. Oh, no, he wasn't. Did you see that? I didn't see him, but I seen what happened after he came out. Give me a fishing rod and a pack of hooks. I'd be gone. A little bastard. Stand back and got it. Slab spoon on. I was like, man, I can't catch nothing on this thing. Dude, give me that rod. I just like took it from his hands and flipped the bell over and let it drop. Go pee and mail. All right, so back at the ramp now. Baxter public use area. I'm gonna shave tonight, daggum. Look, scraggly. But we did not uh, catch them too good over this way. We caught a, quite a few fish actually. Caught some nice ones, but not enough to justify a 50 mile drive. Um, it's one of the main stained water places with runoff, which is what I've been fishing everywhere as any, everybody can tell. So I guess we're going where we went day one. Kind of uh, sucks now that we burned all them two pound keepers that we had. We burned a lot on that first day. So looks like now probably should have started shaking them off. But this lake is absolutely full of two and a quarter, two and a half pounders. You can't weigh any in that size if you want to win. So it's not that big of a deal. The five pounder that I caught at the end of the day and then the three, six, I need those two but those were spawning females it seemed like so they may still be there or they probably wouldn't have stayed no matter what so i don't know we headed back to the resort now and i will see y'all tomorrow thank y'all for watching as always leave a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button i appreciate it guys see y'all